We moved to the Kansas City area uh, in 2012 from Oklahoma City. Uh, 2011. A, tw I'm sorry, 2011. It was a job move. Before we got here, we had kind of done a little bit of research on churches and had a kind of a mini list of churches, and Summit Woods was at the top. Elder-led Southern Baptist isn't the most common, but we were kind of looking for that if we could find it, and expositional teaching, and, and that's what we were looking for. We heard about the church through Jason Gingrich, who um, was a member. I kind of grew up in this church. I joined when I was 18. I wanted to join because of the conviction that I was feeling to um, follow through with the biblical mandate to be a part of a church and be baptized and to just join with um, fellow believers in fellowship and exhorting one another to loving good works. I'd actually met Brett Cabranica at a expositor's fellowship up at Midwestern where I was attending as an undergrad and so I got to know him there, started meeting with him throughout the year uh, for help and discipling and decided to come visit and uh, after the visit it was pretty clear from the preaching and the people that we, we wanted to make the, the transition over to this church. So we, we officially came over after Easter and uh, we were members by, by August of 2012. The way I found Summit Woods, quite honestly, was online, looking for a church that had a high view of God, a high view of the sovereignty of God, and that brought me to Summit Woods. A big one was the music. Um, I came from a musical background. The word is central, and then worship is an outpouring of your response to the word. And that has been crucial, I think, in my growth as a Christian. The pulpit ministry is, is probably what has been most impactful uh, for us. Just the, the clear um, you know, teaching of, of, of the word through books of the Bible. I'd say the, the biggest thing is just the equipping. So through the preaching and through the teaching that we get, being equipped biblically has just changed our lives. I think realizing how intentional the teaching is from the pulpit, just verse by verse. The diligent study of the Word of God has been very helpful to myself and my entire family. And then tying that into growth group and having those conversations with other adults. What do we do with it? You know, and don't just be hearers, but be doers. I've really been impacted through the people of Summit Woods. They've served my family in so many different ways and me personally through discipleship. That also has helped me in the way that I view ministry and also getting involved in ministry and just to kind of see how other people have done it and selflessly served and then hopefully I can follow in their footsteps. Just the importance of being in fellowship with others who are learning some of the same things and trying to apply the same things in your life. The people were just as significant for being very friendly and intentional and connecting with us and even connecting us with others within the church immediately. I would say the discipleship definitely, going over the word with people, um, discipleship counseling was huge impact in our lives just as we would go through life, meet various trials and tribulations and to be able to sit down and just have other people to look into our lives and uh, point us in the direction of the Lord. parents, you know, doing the hard thing of, of disciplining according to scriptures and, and not giving up and then seeing them rise up in the church and, and you know, grow up and become maybe the future leaders of the church, mm. uh, if that's the Lord's will. But um, that's my desire for the future is to see all these little kids all sprinkled through the audience and then to just <clears throat> see them grow up into adults and fill these pews still. The continued focus on, on bringing up men in the church to be able to lead well, preach well, and leading from the word and the fact that we want to take the message not just to our families or to our local neighbors but, but to the world in some way um, will continue to shape and transform those around us and, and that's the gospel call. I think something I've been really struck by in the past few years is just seeing um, how many people the Lord is bringing into our church and how many people we're sending out. It's been really encouraging just to see the work of the gospel in my own life and in the lives of everyone in this church. I'm excited to see how the Lord continues to do that um, wherever he may send us, um, or even if we're still right here in the summit. We're considering you know, planting another church. I think that's very exciting. There's thought of sadness of losing relationship, but also gaining new, new relationships. Yeah.
I'm hopeful that the Lord will continue to use Summit Woods to His glory and expand that as well as we look potentially to plant a church somewhere. I'm very excited about that. A lot of times churches um, get very uh, focused internally and in just growing and getting bigger and bigger for, for bigger sake. And so it's encouraging to have a mindset of, of saying, okay, where, where else could we plan a work where uh, the same you know, consistent teaching could have an impact you know, in, a, in a community? We know God's faithful and we'll, we'll r raise up who he needs to, to do that work. Mm -hmm discipleship that we have here through not only the counseling but just to the one another's that we experience just the growth of that the continuation of that as we continue to strive to um, be in one another's life or you know direct each other to the Lord constantly is uh, very exciting so in general I'm just really thankful for this church and um, how the Lord has used the people in it and the teaching to just grow my faith